How to write SQL queries using string functions? What are string functions? What is the argument type and the return type? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to discuss about SQL queries with the help of string functions. In the previous videos, we have talked about numeric functions such as max, min, sum, average and many others. But now we are going to talk about string function. So string functions are used to perform operation on a specific string and they return the output of a specific string. Following are the string functions defined in SQL. The very first function is ASCII. ASCII returns as the value of a character such as capital A has some sort of value and so does small a has. So if I want to check what is the value or ASCII value of capital A, so I will run this command in my command line of SQL. And you can see that the ASCII value of A is 65. As I run this command and it returns me the ASCII value of capital A. Similarly, if I want to calculate the length of character, then I could use the function care length and if I want to calculate the length of a uh, word that is go edu hub technologies then remember it would also count the space as a word between go edu hub and technologies so let me run this query in my command line and it returns me the exact care length that what is the length of this particular string which I have mentioned in the quotes next is Character length, it doesn't work for SQL Server, so you can use length for SQL Server. It also does the same thing, returns you the character length. Next function is concat. Concat is used when we want to add or concatenate two strings, two separate strings or word. If I want to combine them, then it will return me the combination of both the strings. So if I run this query that select go edu hub and I have mentioned pipe in between that which two words I want to combine from the dual. So when I run this query that select go edu hub and technologies from dual so it will concatenate both the strings. Next is concat ws. What does this function does? This function is used to add two words or string with a symbol as concatenation symbol. So if you want to insert this underscore as a symbol of how are you, so you can concatenate that word with the help of symbol using concat ws statement. So when I hit this command, you can see that I want to concatenate ws function. This is the symbol and these are the words which I want to combine. So this has been combined with the symbol which you have mentioned. It's according to you. Whichever symbol you want to use, you can use that. Next function is find in set. If you want to find a character in a set, then you can find that character in set. Suppose select find in set B, you want to find B in the set EFGH. So if we find it, then it returns 1 and if it doesn't find, then it returns 0. So it's you can see very well that it won't return 1 because B is not in this following set in which it has to be found. So when I run this query, I can see that it returns me 0 because find in set B is not there in this particular set. Next is format. Format is used to display a number in given format. If you want to display a number such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is a number. And if you want to display it in this format, that is 2, then a hyphen again 2 and then again a hyphen and then rest 4 numbers or how many numbers are there. So you can use format function for those strings or those number. So when I execute this query, let me see that. Yes, it does. It formats the string in 3, 3 format and rest of the numbers in 4 format. This is the formatting of strings or number. Now this function insert we have discussed in our previous videos also that we can also insert the data in the database using insert function and this is a table ABC which we have already created so just insertion of data is being shown over here. Next function is lower. Lower function as the name simplifies it will convert the given string the given word or the sentence into lower cases in smaller alphabets. 
so the simple syntax is select lower hello hi it has been mentioned here in upper cases so it will convert that into lower case let me run this command in my sql command line and see the changes so now you can see that all the capital letters have been converted into the small letter with the help of function lower now there is a function left the left function is used to select a substring from the left of the given size of the character for example my string is machine learning and i want to select five characters five individual letters from this machine learning string so it will return me the first five characters from the left side of the string that is m a c h i these are the first five characters so it will return me the first five characters from the string let me run this query in my command line and see now you can see here the first five characters from the left side of the string has been returned the first five characters next is the length function which we have already discussed a length function is used to find the length of a particular word for example tutorial consists of nine letters so it will return the length as nine now you can locate if you want to find that any particular symbol or letter is in that string in that word in nth position of the word then you can find it with the help of function locate the syntax is select locate which symbol or word or letter you want to locate in the given string that you want to locate so you can select locate that particular symbol or the letter in the particular string so when i run the query in my command line let me see that comma is been find in the substring or not yes it is find in the string as this is find in ml then there is a comma then dl there is a comma and big data there is a comma so there are three times when this particular comma is been located in the string the next function is lpad this function is used to make the given string of the given size by adding the given symbol so what does it actually does if you want to select lpad go ahead you hub 8 comma 0 so what does it does it actually make the given string of that given size of that particular size it is going to make that string and here it is already of eight letters so no as such changes are reflected but if there are other letters then it will come back to that particular size in which you have given it next function is l trim l trim function trim as we know it will cut trim specifies cut so l trim means trimming from the left side of the string suppose if you have entered blank spaces before the starting of string then it will left trim or l trim that particular substring from the original so let me run this query in my sql command line and see if the spaces have been trimmed or not yes the spaces have been trimmed you can see here that i have given a lot of empty space before the sql so it has trimmed those spaces and i have renamed the column as left trimmed string so the left trimmed string consists of sql tutorial and it has eliminated the left side blank spaces the next is position position as the word defines this function is used to find position of the first occurrence of that given alphabet for example if i want to find the occurrence of e in the particular word go ahead you hub then i can use position function for that string so select position of e in go ahead you hub so go ahead you hub e comes at the third place first second and then third so it will return me 3 so let's us execute this query and see whether the position function works yes it does the position function returns the first occurrence of e that is in the third place of the given string repeat if i want to check that how many times a string has been repeated or if i want to get that string in repeat then how can we do that for example i want to enter the string for only one time and then i want to repeat it occurrence to the number of time which i will mention according to my need so for example i want to repeat hello two times then it will in the output show me hello hello two times because i have mentioned here the number of times so let us execute this query 
Now you can see that hello is being mentioned two times because it has been repeated two times. The next function is replace. Replace as the word suggests it's quite obvious that something will be replaced or removed from the original string. Suppose in the string hello Tina, I want to replace T with M. So the syntax is very easy. Select replace from the string what you want to replace and by what you want to get it replaced. So I want to replace T with the help of M. So the output will be hello Mina. So let me execute this query in my SQL command line and see whether the replacement is done. Yes, it is done. The given string was hello Tina and T is being replaced with M. So it returns me hello Mina. This is what replace function does. The next function is reverse. Reverse as we know, it will change the occurrences of the string. It will change the indexes of the string and it will reverse a particular string. If I want to reverse Manan, if I want to reverse Naman, then let me see what does the reversal occurs. So if I want to reverse Manan, it get reversed to Naman. All the letters be starting from the backward side of the string. The next is write. This function is used to select a substring from the right end of the given size. For example, in the left, we have selected the left side of the string. Now for the right function, we will select from the right side of the string and of the given size. Three size, that means L, A and I from tutorial will be extracted. This will be the extracted string. So if I execute this query in my SQL command line, so yes, it has extracted the three positions from the right side of the string. Next is rpad. rpad is similar to lpad. It's just that it is used for left side of the string and rpad is used for the left sides of the given string. rtrim, rtrim is used to remove from the right side. ltrim is exact opposite of the R trim. So if I want to remove from the right side of the string, then it will remove the spaces, the blank spaces from the right side of a mentioned string. So let me mention this query in my SQL command line. And you can see that the right side space after the tutorial has been removed in the output. The next is space. If I want to uh, used to write a given number of spaces I want to give blank spaces then the output will not deflect something but it counts seven empty as blank spaces so the command is very easy select space and how many numbers of spaces you want to give you can mention over there for example I want to give seven blank spaces then when I enter this query, you can see that seven blank spaces are actually there, which are not quite visible because it's a blank space, but there are seven spaces. The next function is strcmp function. This function is used to compare the two strings. If the string one and string two are exactly same, then it will return zero. If the string one is smaller than string two, then it will return minus one. And if the string 1 is larger than string 2, then strcmp function will return 1, that it is larger. So it is used for comparing, comparing the length of the string, not what the string exactly are. So firstly, execute this query and see that what is in our return statement. So it is returning us 1. Why? Because we know that GoEduHub has more length than just hub.com. So it is returning us 1. When 1 is returned, that means string 1 is larger than the string 2. The next function is substr. S-U-B-S-T-R. This function is used to find a substring from a string for the given position. For example, from machine learning, starting from position 1, to position 5, I want to extract a string. That means starting from 1, that is M, A, C, H, I, up till position 5. I want to extract a string. So this is how I can extract a string or find a substring from a string with the help of given position. So when I execute this query, I can see that a substring has been extracted from the original string.
The next function is the index. How can we find the index of substring? The function used to find the substring before the given symbol. Suppose the given symbol is dot or full stop. Then www dot. So before that one dot, whether the its placing is, it will extract the given substring. For that, substring index function is used. Let me run this query into my command line and check whether it returns me the value. Yes, it does. Before the occurrence of this first occurrence of the symbol dot, it will return me the substring before that index. So it has returned me www. The next is trim function. Now trim function is used to cut the symbols. So if I want to trim the leading zeros from any number, then how can I do that? So I will use select trim leading zeros from 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it will trim all the zeros before this particular number. So it has trimmed the zeros. How many zeros are there? And then it has returned me the original number that is 1, 2, 3 from the given number. The next function is upper. Lower function is used to put the string into lower case. The upper function is used to change the string into upper cases. Very easy. If I want to execute this query in my command line, then all the letters will be now given in upper cases. And as it shows you, upper of A, B, C, D, E, F, G is the capital version of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So these are all string functions. It's quite a huge in number, but they are very easy to execute. There is no as much logic required. And in this video, we have covered all the string functions and how can we write SQL queries with the help of string functions. For more queries, we will look into other videos. Thank you.